It's a bit of a gloomy one out there and it's going to be fairly cloudy right through the work week. We'll get to the weather details in just a minute. Right now, we're joined by two Kamloops lawyers, Dan Miller and Jennifer Crawford. It's great to have you guys on the show. Nice to see you. Nice yes, to see you. nice to Thank see you. you too. You're very welcome. Uh, last week was Conflict Resolution Week. And so we're having you on the show today to talk about mediation because from what I understand, it's become a very popular way of dealing with conflict rather than going to court or hiring, uh, hiring lawyers. Um, maybe Jennifer, start by telling me why is mediation more effective these days? Mediation is more effective than court for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's timely. Parties are able to mediate when they want to mediate it, when it's appropriate for the them and, and where their case is at as opposed to waiting for a judge to have availability. Um, it's more affordable. So if you get in and you actually want to resolve your problem, um, people can often settle a case in a couple of hours or a day as opposed to needing to go through extensive court proceedings. And it's effective. So uh, what we find is that when people go in to mediate, uh, that they are getting outcomes that they're uh, satisfied with and that they feel bound by because they were part of the solution. And you are wholly a mediator. Uh, yeah. That's all you do. That's all I do. Yes. I called you a lawyer, but yes, you're a mediator. I'm not a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we turned that up now. Um, what do you see from the clients that you have in? Uh, they're they're getting their conflicts resolved more quickly, and also court can be a long wait. Court can be a long wait and a very expensive wait, actually. And uh, mediation can, depending upon when it gets into the process, it can be done, like Jen said, in a couple of hours versus. A, uh, a couple of days or months or years in some court cases. Um, what I hear from clients is that uh, the, the value of them being involved in the process of making the decision themselves, totally engage them in the process as opposed to having somebody tell them what was going to be the outcome, they have the opportunity to discuss it in a rational, safe environment. What kind of conflicts can be mediated? Just about anything. It really um, has to do with um, where the conflict arises and whether, whether parties feel that they need to um, have assistance from a third party to help them. Uh, so Media BC has three different rosters. Uh, there's the Child Protection Roster, which deals with families involved with the Ministry of Children and Families. Uh, the Family Roster, which can deal with um, separation, divorce, um, and child care issues such as parenting time, decision making around children, support payments, things like that. And for issues like that, when it comes down to deciding children and, and finances, you want to have an input on that. You don't want to sit there and be at the mercy of what the yeah. judge thinks is right. Right. I'm exactly. assuming. And you're dealing with their, their interests and they're most often than not, their interests are very common. Mm -hmm. It's the, how they get to their, the end of the, res, the result that they need to help, they need help with. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So what does a mediator do? You've got both parties sitting in the room and the mediator sitting in the middle and sort of being the referee, or is it a discussion? How does it work? Well, I think it, it, what we, number one, it's a safe environment. So that's one thing that we talk about beforehand. We have pre-mediation meetings ahead of time. We talk to them about being involved in a discussion and focusing on the actual uh, problems as opposed to the people and uh, help them engage with each other in a, in a more functional communication method as opposed to uh, their normal, the, the way they normally would be communicating in the past, which mm -hmm. obviously wasn't very successful because they're in a dispute. Exactly. Okay. Are you seeing more and more people mediating? You were saying that <clears throat> you're doing more mediating now than you ever have before. That's correct. And I mean, I think it says a lot that um, there are a number of uh, mediators in Kamloops that do the job full time. And you didn't see a lot of that a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. I think that just on its own is a big statement of how much more popular it is. It's funny because when I first started doing this, they told me don't make a, a you won't make a living out of this. Right, and here I am today, full time mediator. Very interesting. Yes. Very interesting. Uh, we're really glad to have had you on the show today to learn a little bit more about this. Uh, there is a website you can go to. We don't have it on the screen, but it's called mediatebc.com. And that's, that's where people right. can go to learn a little bit more about that. Is yes. that right? And as well on the screen right now, we have Dan and Jennifer's email addresses. If you have an issue that needs attending to, perhaps <laughs> you might want to get in touch with one of these two. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you for having Jesus. us. You're very Thank welcome. You.